Okay, it's good to be back, everybody. Okay, everybody here in just a few moments. Okay. Oh, let's get this. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I've been, uh, I've been looking forward to this for a little while. Um, I've been waiting. Uh, I know, <laughs> I keep self-deprecating or whatever, but, uh, I know there aren't going to be a lot of people watching, but, uh, uh, I do want to say as well, um, I know, uh, Jesse, uh, Jesse Cox will be starting his, uh, journey tomorrow, I believe. Um, I want to wish him, uh, wish him the best, uh, on his journey through John Trail as well. Um, and, I mean, I should also extend that to, uh, I hope, uh, you know, I hope everyone has, uh, enjoyed Dawn Trail so far, and, uh, the story and whatnot. I don't know anything about, um, you know, I, I like, I've been, uh, been very careful to, to not, uh, you know, no spoilers, no whatever. Okay. Pretty sure this is the same, so I'm gonna skip this. Um, but yeah, um, so I think what we're gonna do to start is I am going to uh, try out. Uh, server is currently congested. Okay. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is wait and queue to get in. Uh, so um, I'm thinking that. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I want to try out uh, Viper and Pictomancer. Um, I also confess I don't really, like, I don't really know a lot about, like, you know, the, the class changes or anything like that. Um, pardon me. There are much better uh, content creators and sources of uh, sources for being able to figure that out. So I'm going to defer to uh, defer to those people. Oh, that is an island. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. Powder gauge. Oh, yeah. No, that's fine. Um, okay. I also don't know. Medicine merchant. Bottled fantasy. Wait, that's a level one quest. What is that? You want to be a weaver. Yeah, sorry. I uh, was just going to say, I don't know. Um, what is this a quest for? Oh, Fantasia. Well, their last. Care to make some easy kill. You don't need to deliver a vial of my wares to a customer. I'll make it worth your while. Yeah, why ask me? Okay, I'm getting distracted. I don't know. Uh, you think some street urchin uh, wouldn't oh, wouldn't scruple to abscond with my goods or pilfer for my profits? No, I need an adventurer for this or someone with morals. Okay. You stand each other. Take this uh, to the gladiator waiting on the steps of Nald. Once you receive his dues, come straight back here and rest assured I will know if you're even a gill short. Okay. Uh, so where am I going? Okay, uh, we're getting distracted here, chat, but I'm gonna, you know, we're, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna see where this goes. Okay, uh, like I said, otherwise, um, I'm, uh, the, the plan is I want to unlock and try out uh viper um i want to unlock and try out pictomancer uh i'm not sure where those are it's taking forever it really was too good to be true there you go buddy ah uh, thank you miss i've been waiting for what felt like an age but finally it's here my miracle drop 
my miracle draft. Oh, do you not know what this is? This, uh, my friend, is a vial of the mysterious brew called Fantasia. <clears throat> Legend states that any who drink it before lying down for uh, for the evening wakens new man or woman. My Coliseum, my Coliseum debut is coming up and I'm terribly nervous, so I thought this medication might bestow me with self-confidence I lack. And a chiseled, muscly body besides. <laughs> I can't wait to show it, uh, to show off in my subligar. <laughs> okay. Uh, take this to the medicine merchant with my compliments now, if you'll excuse me. I'm off to make my dreams come true. Okay. So they're just giving everybody a, a, a free Fantasia. That's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not... Oh. Um, I mean, I'm not looking to change, but... Also, I gotta, uh, gotta be careful. I don't know if I have a Fantasia in my backpack. Um... I think one of my, I know one of my retainers is carrying one, I think. <clears throat> uh. Oh no, I just have one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, good, you're back. And with my payment, I expect. There you go. Your last guild counted for, I knew you'd be right for the job, now for your payment. What is this? Oh, uh, okay, yeah, it's showing the in-game effect, okay. That's interesting, it's it's like a like an actual, like, in-lore item now. That's funny. Friend of yours, I can't say I recognize him. My client, you mean the little Alavelin gladiator? Yes, isn't that what you're... yeah. Who's to say? I have no way of proving that man was indeed my client. If you would sate, my curi uh, if you would sate your curiosity, I believe I could spare you a vial for your own experimentation. Huh. Now my business is done, meet again someday, though whether we recognize one another is less certain. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Okay. See, it's little touches like this also that uh, really, like, uh, make me like uh, the game, because, like, new expansion drops. I think, I don't think this was here before. I don't remember it being there. And, uh, then this happens where they, you know, they literally just like, here you go, you know, here's a free Fantasia for everybody. So if uh, people want to try out the new race or whatever, you know, they can, uh, they can just do that. Okay. Enter the Viper. Okay, so, well, I'll try that one out first, I guess, because it's literally like right here. Yeah, like I said, I don't exactly know where um, the new classes start. I'm curious about Pictomancer. I'm 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 pretty sure that uh, you know they uh, they won't have it crash the game like uh, like Realm, but you know that's uh, that's a bit of a dig from uh, Reed Weaver. Hey, assisting this Weaver would oh could be the beginning of a whole new adventure. Adventurer, yes, there's a spot of bother over at the Weaver's Guild. We could use a hand sorting out. Uh, we've received an order for a, for a full ensemble, but now that the work's been completed, the client refuses to pay. Mind you, I had my suspicions from the start. He calls himself a viper, of all things. Uh, in my experience, people who name themselves after snakes are not to be trusted. Well, that's... okay. Uh, in any case, as he carries a pair of swords on his back, and I hate to think... Uh, what would happen if he started uh, wielding them in anger? Head to the guild and smooth things over. Oh, that's new. Okay. Uh, okay, what? This is level eighty. Um, let's uh, let's change classes. Um, 
Uh, okay, what uh, what level is my stuff? Okay, I'm I am level eighty on Reaper, so let's change to Reaper. Yeah. Okay, I am. Uh, I haven't played the game for a while, so I confess. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna fumble around with the controls, so. <laughs> But, oh well, no worries. Uh, Aethernet. Weaver's Guild. Okay. Good evening to you, stranger. I was hoping I may I might make the acquaintance of someone a bit rougher, uh, rougher around the edges. Uh, someone who's seen her fair share of action. Could you tell me what prey's worth hunting in these parts? These here parts. Do you have any idea what he's talking about? I took no issue with fulfilling this order, but now. Uh, now that it's time for him to pay, it's as though we're talking at cross pur cross purposes. Likewise, I don't understand why this fellow is being so difficult. All I'm asking for uh, is the outfit I ordered in the name of some critters worth killing. Yeah, this is... Explain from the beginning. I'm from Tural. Oh, okay. A big old continent on the other side of the salt west of here. Okay. Uh, you've been there, I reckon. Uh, then you might have seen uh, others who wield the dual blades. No, I haven't. Or vipers, as we're traditionally known. Okay. Our duty is to hunt for uh, uh, ferocious beasts that endanger the lives of innocent folk. In fact, that's what brought me here. Thing is, all the all that fighting and long days on the road uh, ain't been too kind on my gear. Reckoned it was high time got oh got me a new getup bespoke and all. Fascinating, I'm sure. Uh, but why do you refuse to pay for your order? And why are you s and oh and and why are you so insistent that I choose my prey? So how else am I supposed to pay you? Do us a favor and we'll hunt down any beast you want. That's the code, how we vipers do business. Yeah. Weaver's, uh... That's so. So you're saying they want something else instead. Uh, payment commensurate with the skill and material required in Gil, preferably. Well, oh, didn't see that one coming. Guess that explains our little misunderstanding. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, but surely your countrymen trade in some sort of currency, yes? Or are you... Viper so far removed from society as to be unaware of such concepts. Oh! Shots fired! <laughs> of course we know what money is. We ain't no bumpkins, but uh, when it comes to requisitioning goods and services, I usually rely on the elders to deal with the artisans and the like, uh, which is to say I ain't in the habit of carrying significant sums. Ah, so be it. Uh, if your only form of payment is the slaying of beasts, that shall have to do. As it happens, one of my colleagues in Eastern Thanalon reports that merchants carrying our supplies were attacked by a wild fiend. What's more, the creature is a specimen of many-headed scalekin never before seen in the region. Uh, it is rumored to have escaped from the Colosseum and has been running rampant ever since. Scaly, lots of heads. Alright, you got yourself a deal. <laughs> deal. Uh, considering the guild has already fulfilled its end of the bargain, you should count yourself lucky. Still, I'd hate for anything to go awry at this juncture. Might I ask uh, a favor of you, friend? I'd like you to accompany him and ensure that he intends 
oh, attends to the creature as agreed. Besides, I dare say seeing a so-called viper at work will be an enlightening experience. Yeah, why not? I mean, that's why I'm here. The name's... Is it Kesh... Keshaw? I think. Creature was last seen near Camp Drybones. Begin there. Okay. Yeah, my wallet will allow it. I will teleport there. Um. Oh, burn me. Okay. Southern. Eastern. Hey. Okay, where my buddy at? Uh, there he is. This camp dry bones, huh? Fitting name. Anyway, you ready to hunt? What's that look for? Ah, uh, let me guess. You want to ask around first and see if anyone can point us in the right direction? No need. The weaver's friend told me plenty. All we gotta do is. Track down the beast, which is a viper's specialty. Okay. Uh, bye, buddy. Yeah, nice hydra-looking thing. Okay. Went after traders carrying, uh, carrying Taylor's materials, bolts of cloth and whatnot. Uh... Don't sound none too tasty to me, so I'm guessing it's the merchants themselves the beast has its eyes on. That makes sense. Uh, most predators use their sense of smell to pick up their meal. Uh, those scents carry on the wind, so you got to consider uh, the position of the rocks and plants to determine how the air tends to flow through an area. Uh, ain't too hard to deduce where a critter's made its lair after you've done that. Okay. Yeah, that's a big and mean looking too. Uh, must be wreaking havoc on the food chain. Never mind the the danger it poses to the locals. Well, time to do what a viper does best. Ooh. I mean, the effects are flashy. That's that. So, do you, oh, so you like the show? Don't play coy. I can see you're intrigued. Or I spill all my secrets. I've got a question for you. Um, have you oh ever heard of a Tural Tural Vidral? I no. I have no idea what you're talking about. Thought not. Well, oh, they're a rare breed of beast that wields all kinds of powers. They've got no right, uh, no right having a threat to every uh, every other living thing that has has the the temetry to breathe in their vicinity, huh? Uh, because of their long lifespan and unnatural abilities, they were dubbed the Tyrants of Tyrol. That's more or less uh, what the name means. Okay. Anyway, someone's got to hunt the Tyrol Vidral, uh, and that someone is us, the Vipers. Okay. Uh, you know, I've... Met a fair few adventurers during my time here, but I can tell you're a cut above the rest. Well, hold that thought. Um, might might even have what it takes to be a viper. Oh, if you're interested, I can teach you on one condition. You'll help me hunt down a uh, Tural Vidral that's made its way to Eorzea. What do you think? Sounds good to me. I mean... Ha! Ah. Hell of a thing to ask out of the blue, I know. Uh, just think on it some, will you? Uh, 
Set on backs, it will daw until the weaver fellow were square. Uh, the journey will give you time to consider my offer. I, I'm just teleporting, dude, so... Oh, we're just back in the city. Okay, never mind. Um, well, I mean, I'm still technically teleporting, I guess. I'm just... Gonna do this. Uh, it's outside the Weaver's Guild, I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here we are. She gave our Weaver friend the good news, and he handed over uh, the set of fancy duds as promised. Gotta say, it was worth the trouble. So about my offer, are you ready to become a viper and protect folks uh, from the nastiest beasts uh, that ever lived? Sure, uh, mighty fine answer. I'll make I'll make a viper review. Just uh, just see if I don't. First order of business. Let me give you this here soul crystal. Uh, contains knowledge of our fighting arts passed down since t ancient times from one generation of viper to the next. Assuming you've got the knack for it, our skills could be yours too. Okay. Uh, I also got this fresh set of Viper gear for you. The Weaver's Guild wanted to thank you for overseeing our hunt earlier, so they made you your very own outfit. Oh, cool. Guess that fella took your measurements by eye or something. Oh, and the blades are a couple of spares I had handy. Try it all on for size. Let me get a look at you when you're done. Okay. Uh, okay, so the more important question... Do I have room in my uh, armory for another set of gear? <laughs> That's a good question, chat. <laughs> okay. Um, oh. Baseware? Unable to display. This feature has yet to be on. Wait. I have a new gear. Is that a new gear slot? Or is that just like cosmetically you can wear glasses and stuff? Huh. Okay. Uh. Okay, how do I... Oh. <laughs> ah, damn it. <laughs> ah, called it. Okay. Um. Okay. Turn to inventory. Turn to inventory. <laughs> okay. Um, here, give me a... No. Um, give a... Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, open the armory chest. Okay. Um... Okay. This monk samurai. Okay, I think I can. Um, I'm gonna return that to my inventory. Um, I'm gonna do the same with this. I'm also I'm aware I'm running out of inventory space. Um. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, so much for that idea. <laughs> okay. Um. 
<laughs> okay, nobody's using this. So let's return that to my inventory. Um, uh, I don't think anybody uses this, so I think we're gonna turn that to my inventory. Uh, okay, I, I am also aware that I'm running out of inventory spaces. Just don't. Okay. Um. Hmm. This. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I have a weird feeling. Given bracelet slaying. Okay, that's not bad. Um. Okay, I'm gonna return this to my inventory. I don't know where I got that. Um, it's from a quest like really early on. Um, so the slaying. Um, don't really need this either. I'm probably gonna return this to my inventory as well. I'll probably just sell it. Um, because all my tank classes are higher than level fifty, so. Hey, now, oh, here's uh, here's a right mess. Um. Okay, um... Oh, that's equipped, okay. Um... This is not... Okay, I think I'll get rid of that, I guess? You know what, I'm going to get rid of the healing stuff in here, if I can find it, because I, I hate to say it, I'm probably not going to level up a, uh, you know, I have a couple of healers in the 50s or whatever, but I'm, like, I just, it's it's not a gameplay style I enjoy, but also Zenobian Paladin's Ring. Huh. wonder where I got that. That's kind of neat. Um, anyways, I'm getting distracted here. Um, I, uh, you know, I, power to the the healers in the game, but, like, it's just not, you know, it, it's not, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's not a, um, something that I, uh, you know, I, I just feel really stressed out whenever I, uh, whenever I do it, so. You know, not to, con not to say anything of, like, this, you know, the, the quote-unquote, like, skill or whatever of, uh, you know, or that, like, people I'm healing are, like, standing in AoEs or anything. It's just more, like, I feel like I'm, you know, constantly, like, watching, you know, watching a bunch of toddlers or whatever who are, like, one step away from, like, falling down a set of stairs or something, right? Like, I just, you know. <laughs> um... Oh, oh, I don't know what I wanted. No. Um, track the materia... Three inventory slots remain. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay. All right. No, 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 no. Um. Inventory. Okay, where are you at? Um. Wait, where are you at? Um, summoner's attire. Wait, where did those other boxes go? Astrologians. Weathered snake bite attire. I'm guessing this is what I'm supposed to. Uh... Okay. 
Oh, I have a better ring. Uh, well, better is uh, a relative term. Um, this is, it's all level 80 and this stuff is level 70. All right, we're doing it. No, no, no. Don't, uh, gear set list. Um, new gear set. <laughs> Whew! <laughs> Okay, oh god, these so many buttons all in the wrong place. Um Okay. Um oops, whoops. Uh actions and traits. Yeah. Sprint. Limit break. Um Rent go away, return go away, teleport go away, this go away. Um, looks like a wind goes over here somewhere. Um, uh, leg sweep goes on my other bar over here, I think. Yeah, wherever this is. Um, Okay. Viper sight. Uh, engage enemies uh, mainly through use of three-step combos. Uh, their primary combos begin with either Steel Fang or Dread Fangs. Okay, well, this is... Okay. Um, I think I'll put Faint there. Um, can you go there for now? Okay, that is my AoE skill, so yeah, you go here, yes. I think that's where I want you to go. Um, sorry, I got distracted. The third step can end with one of several weapon skills, uh, each of which grants an effect to strengthen a different combo ending action. To reach these actions will require the use of specific combo routes. Okay, so this is kind of like Monk. Um, uh, the glow of Viper Sight's blade corresponds with the uh, outlining of the hotbar icons to indicate the next step of in a combo. Uh, follow these indicators. Oh, following these indicators will help you ensure... Uh, the use of combos to finish with a strengthened attack. Okay, that seems really complicated. Um, HUD layout. Um, okay, um, no. You need to come down here where I can actually see you. Um, probably like right here. Uh, no, I don't mind that. I mean, at least I think I don't, but we'll, we'll have to see. Okay, here. I have no idea. Well, you look the part, uh, but do you feel any, anything from the soul crystal? Not particularly. Um, feel like I wish you gave me rings, but... I knew it. Sounds like you got what it takes to be a viper, but only way no know for sure is to put them new skills to the test. For that, we'll need prey. From what I hear, uh, you adventurers of your own guild, so I'm pretty sure... Uh, so I'm guessing the folks there know the best spot for hunting. Let's go see what they can tell us. Uh, okay. Uh, outside quicksand. Okay. Knowledgeable adventurer. Okay. You're after deadly predators, try spineless basin. Uh, there have been sightings of heretofore unknown species. Those that slaughter anything that moves, including travelers. 
Uh, what's worse, they work in packs. Even the adventurers hired to cull them end up in the end up meeting a sticky end. Got a lead already. Hmm. Maybe there's something to this whole asking around thing after all. Billy. Bears not from around these parts. You say either they got uh, chased out of their usual habitat or they were brung here. Either way, that's bad news for, uh, for folks unfortunate enough to cross paths with them. Uh, hunting of Toral the Drill is Viper's most important duty, but that doesn't mean we turn a blind eye to lesser threats. Next stop, Spineless Basin. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Oh, it's literally just like right outside. Okay. I was thinking about I was I was literally thinking about teleporting, and then I was like, oh, it's like right over here. On the motorcycle. Okay. Uh, these here adventurers ran into a whole gaggle of uh, the fiends were after. They got pretty roughed up, but I saw their wounds already. Don't you worry. Uh, saw two their wounds already, I guess. Uh, before we go say hello to the troublemakers, I reckon I ought to teach you about the Viper's dual blades. Um, our techniques were created for the sole purpose of killing Toral Vidral. Most of them are meaner varieties of things you might encounter in the wild, often with special powers to boot. Okay. Uh, to stand a chance against these powerful enemies, our ancestors uh, looked to vipers for inspiration, always twisting and turning to find the perfect angle of attack to take down bigger prey. Uh, two blades with the twin fangs of a viper to wield in tandem and strike with precision. They can also be combined into a single weapon that weaves and sways uh, like the body of a snake. Uh, by switching between these stances, the viper has the capacity... Uh, to adapt to any situation. Uh, now, the prayer after today ain't nowhere near as fearsome as a Tural Vitral, but they'll give you a chance to test out your new skills. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, let's go. Okay. My animal level is nowhere near 525, 525 but... Uh, okay. Any meaner beasties, they must be biding their time. All I see here is fodder. Okay. Not for practicing your new skills, they'll do fine. Uh, I'll stay out of your way and give you a few pointers. Let me know when you're ready. Uh... Okay, um, I like the Vipers, or the, uh, the Reapers start a lot better, um, uh, wait, 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 why don't you, okay, start with the basics, there's two stances, okay, why would you let me move around if I have to talk to him, uh, two stances, Dual Fang and Viper, uh, Dual Fang means... Wheeling two blades separately, start by using either Steel Fang or Dread Fang, then press the attack. Uh, to finish the sequence, switch back to Viper and hit him with Death Rattle. After using Dual Fang weapon skills, Steel Fang or Dread Fang, their icons will automatically change to the next action in the combo. Oh, that's cool! I wish more skill, more skills in the game did that. Um, uh, by performing a second, then third attack in the combo you will ac uh, you will gain access to the viper stance action death rattle uh, if you have serpent's tail assigned to a hotbar the action will automatically change to death rattle when it becomes available the hell is that dread fangs steel fangs steel maw writhing snap dread maw lither <laughs> okay what are all these 
Dreadwinder. Additional action with Noxious Gash, Pit of Dread. Uh, okay, what the hell? This, okay, um, Hunter's Den, Swiftkin's Den, um, that has a lot of text on it, um, Okay, so I feel like that wants to be on the first bar here. Like, a lot of this stuff does, I think. Like, yeah, what does this do? Ranged attack potency. Okay, this goes over here. Um, I think. And then this one goes, uh, goes on the other bar because it's movement. Um... Okay, hold on. Target with Noxious Gash. Okay, so this deals less damage, but it puts a debuff on the target? Yeah, Noxious Gash effect increases damage you deal by 10%. Okay. Um... Okay, um... I don't get it. Okay. Um Yeah, I'm going to do uh like I want to do the AoE stuff on the second bar of uh of my hot bar, I think, because there's a lot of them. Um Okay, I have this on another bar. Um, so I want Swift Skin Coil and Hunter's Coil on the other bar. Okay, because um, those are... And um, Dreadwinder and Pit of... Well, no, Pit of Dread can stay here. Dreadwinder I want on the other bar. Okay. Um... Redwinder can stay there. Um, oh, that's the same button. That's not what I want. Um, Swift skin coil, I think. I don't even know if I really want or care about leg sweep, but... Keep writhing snap there, because it's just a ranged attack, that's fine. Um... Okay. So now... Um... Fitted Red's fine here. Remove these. Um, Dread Maw, um, what's Steel Maw? Steel Maw is just technically a 
more damaging skills, so I still want to use Red Maw every, like, 20 seconds or whatever, but Steel Maw is just better. Um, okay, I have Hunter's Den and uh, Swift Skin Den here as well, and I have put a Dread on here. Um, I think that's it. Um, I don't understand what Twin Blooded and Twin Fang are for. Um, uh, Twin Fang. is single target okay so i want twin fang on that side and twin blood on this side um right blood is aoe yeah okay okay Uh, this job is a lot more complicated than I thought. Um, does it have any buffs? Um, uh, like, sorry, does it have, like, a, uh... Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna worry about that. Um... Uh, I think I leave Bloodbath there all the time. In one stack of Rattling Coil. Okay, I'm gonna forget I saw that. Um, action's unassignable, that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, um, I think I got it. Okay, I've only spent, like... You know <laughs> okay uh okay so okay thank you for targeting him um if i go like that Okay. I didn't actually read if that's where I'm supposed to use this from, but... Okay, am I doing something wrong? Dual Fang. Opener, follow up with a second, then pick one of the four finishers. Uh, you can tell by the names, but each finisher works best from a certain position. Uh, four combo ending, flank strike, flank bane. Okay. Um, using a second attack with the highlighted icon gives you access to one of the enhanced combo enders. Now try performing a four combo ender. Okay, what am I supposed to try and use? Um... Okay, just the stuff I just was? OK. 
Okay. Oh, this is a lot more complicated than I thought. Uh... Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't I don't quite think so. Um Defeat the Oh, okay. We're it's a different monster here. Okay, we're coming up, I guess. Hmm. Oh, burn me. Uh Find your two blades to one to deliver powerful strikes perfect for tough opponents. Open with Dreadwinder, then transition to either Twin Fang Bite or uh, Twin Blood Bite in it from Dual Fang Stance. Weapon skill Dreadwinder. Look by secondary attacks allows... Okay, so they want me to use... Wait. Wait. So what am I doing now? So they want me to use... The, it starts with Dreadmaw now? Is that how that works? Like, is that what I'm doing? Uh, I think that's what they want. Huh. Okay, well, let's see. Um, marry you. Uh, no, that's not what he wanted. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. So what did I do wrong there? Okay. Hey, what am I not doing? Okay, I thought I used Twin Blood Bite. Hey, what am I? Okay, what am I trying to use? Twin blood bite. Twin Fang Bite or Twin Fang Thresh? Uh... 
Oh, this is a... Wait. Why is this... Oh, eh. I don't like that. Um... Okay. Um... Okay, so there's a twin blood and a twin bite for, uh, for both. Okay, I didn't... That's... That was the, uh, the disconnect. Okay. Um... Okay, so I need this one on the other bar as well. Um... Uh, okay, um... Hmm. Uh, you go over there. Um, oh. Oh. Okay, that's what's screwing me up. Okay. Hey, come here, you. Okay, this job seems really complicated. <laughs> I am now realizing. Like, getting closer, boss must. Oh, boss beast must be pissed that his minions keep getting beat. Uh oh. Um. I'm gonna take you down a peg or three. Just remember uh, what you're dealing with. Here, it ain't no pushover like the rest, okay? All the tools you need at your disposal. What a viper can do. Um, I know one of those things is fail, because uh, I spent over 20 minutes in here, so... Um, Yeah, I'm sorry, I gotta... It's a lot of uh, concentrating on my buttons. I could see a good Viper being, like, really good, but, um, whoa. <laughs> There's a lot going on there. Um, I do like how um, the buttons, like, each change with the combo. Um, I really wish uh, they would consolidate some of uh, the other jobs down so that... to help with, like, button bloat to get rid of some of the, like combo action stuff that'd be really nice if that happened i don't know if it has yet or not uh not bad not bad at all uh those were just the basics but your execution was mighty impressive 
I don't lie to me. <laughs> uh, since you've proven you won't be a liability, let me tell you about the Tural Vidral we're up against. Okay. We call it Ick. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna... Uh, okay. Um, it's an offshoot of the Brax, a deadly jungle predator, and after a series of mutations, this one's grown huge wings. Uh, worse yet, it's smart as a whip and has a, a mean streak a mile wide. Ooh. Uh, after learning of the beast, me and my most promised student set off to slay it. Uh, facing it head-on seemed like suicide, so we lay in ambush. Almost worked, too. Almost. Uh, though we had it subdued and made our approach to deliver the killing blow, but we'd underestimated the fiend's cunning nature. When we got close, it lashed out lightning quick before taking to the skies. I cradled my brother in arms as he breathed his last. Ooh. Well, I'm gonna be there too, buddy. This outfit, act this outfit though, uh, actually does look nice. Uh, revenge is all I've been thinking about ever since. I traveled length and breadth of Tyrol looking for the beast with nothing to show for it, but a half dozen pair, uh, pairs of ruined boots. With each passing day, I grew more and more desperate. That was until I met some folk uh, who crossed the salt on a trade ship from Ulda. They claimed to have seen a huge winged creature flying eastward over the ocean. Uh, knowing how clever... Uh, Ick is. Uh, I recommended... Oh, I reckoned it had gone in search of new hunting grounds somewhere uh, without an established threat like us vipers, so bought passage to the ship and here I am. Uh, little did I know Eorzea would be so... Uh, would be uh, damn near as big as Thrall. I'm a fish out of water and I'm not afraid to admit it uh, or that I'm going to need all the help I can get. Uh, that's where you come in. With you on my side, I just might stand a chance of avenging my fallen comrade. What do you say? Uh, I say that um, I might give this job a shot, but uh, oh, there's a lot going on. Um, uh, thanks, that means a lot. Uh, let's get back to Ulda and see if we can find some clues of where Ick, oh, of Ick's whereabouts. Oh, I'm literally right outside. Okay, I do want to go through there. Okay. I believe it's technically faster to fly. I don't know. I've never tested it and I don't really care to but okay now the question is though where do I unlock Pictomancer because you know I totally have the gear for that or the uh, the gear slots for that um oh right this way Wait, what does this do Enemy or party member's location. Okay, so. Fisha! As you saw in the Weaver's Guild, chatting up folks ain't my strong suit. Uh, if you're happy to take the lead, I'm happy to follow, at least for now. I uh, think you could ask uh, the locals if they've spotted any strange creatures flying around. As for me, I'll study... Uh, your technique, see if I can't brush up on my social graces and whatnot. Oh, okay. Uh, it's now accompanying you. Oh. Okay. Oh, I thought, okay, this is, this is, uh, this quest is a lot more, uh, in-depth than I thought. Flying beast, why well, yes, of late we've had sightings of such a creature more and more each day. Uh, we're looking into it ourselves, but there's been no reported attacks. Uh, nor can I provide more detailed description, as such I can't say if it's the same one you're after. Okay. Hey, buddy. 
uh, yes, when I was on the ship here, I heard about this hunt that your local uh, company seemed to be running. Uh, we got a system like that back in Tural 2, mainly for dealing with Tural Vidral. Uh, naturally, the bulk of the work is handled by Vipers, but ever since the Dawn Servant came to power, the scope's been expanded to cover a wider range of threats. Uh, these days, pretty much anyone can take on jobs, and there's no shortage, shortage of them all over. Uh, if you're ever in Tural, maybe you ought to give it a try. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably gonna pass. Um, a lot of people here, we got cities of our own back in Tural, but this is something else. You know, uh, to become a Viper traditionally, you've got to live in this remote village in the mountains where uh, you learn all you can about the habits of various beasts. Uh, ain't much else to do out there, so anytime uh, you get to yourself, you're expected to spend honing your skills. Uh, once training's done, you're free to roam where you please. Uh, there ain't many Tural Vidral that need hunting, but they can sprint, uh, oh, spring up uh, pretty much everywhere in Tural. So many say it's good to keep on the move. Me, though, I chose to stuck around, oh, to stick around even after I finished my training, gave me a chance to work on my swordsmanship. And instead of going out looking for work, folks came straight to us asking for help. So I got complacent and fell into the habit of letting my elders and students do all the talking and negotiating with outsiders. Uh, even my passage here was arranged by an acquaintance. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, we, we found, uh, you know, we found him. He, uh, he doesn't have social skills. That's his, uh, his anime trope. What a winged creature. Ah, uh, uh, well, I've only heard rumors. Uh-huh. They say it has a dozen faces ringed with uh, red wriggling tentacles and it shoots beams of light from its eyes. Uh, of course, it's all uh, its all too common uh, for those with more money than sense to bring in bizarre species from distant lands. And the trouble with rumors is that they grow ever more fanciful with each retelling. Yeah, that sounds pretty... I hope that's pretty fanciful, because otherwise that's kind of dangerous. Well, damn if I know how you did it. But you and your silver tongue got useful information out of folks. Uh, even if none of it amounted to a solid lead, it acknowledges that Ick hasn't kicked up a proper fuss uh, yet as a clue all in itself. I reckon it's taking its time to get the lay of the land, having only just arrived here. All right. Uh, now I've seen a master at work. I'm going to try my hand at talking to the locals. Uh... Okay, go for it, buddy. Agree more. Sides, I face meaner folks than a few uh, tight-lipped city folk. And if I make a fool of myself, so what? I'll just ask someone else. Just so happens I brought with me a whole bunch of uh, herbs and knickknacks from back home that I can sell to keep myself fed. Uh, it might take a while uh, to find any solid leads, but at least I can can get by for the time being. Oh, okay. So this is where it'll end, probably. So those are the ones who slew my darling... slew my pets. Interlopers on the hunt for my next darling prize. Uh, little do they know, it's lost interest in Thanalin. Heh. <laughs> Just as well, it's fickle nature uh, may yet bring us great delights. Okay. I'll uh, be doing my damn just to get more information. Might take a while, though. Uh, so come see me later. Don't forget to practice your Viper techniques. Oh! Yeah, um, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna say it. This job is complicated. <laughs> um, okay. I guess I have to go to another major city? Like, I don't... Like I said, I don't know, um... Like, I, I didn't look anything up or anything, so, um, like, I don't know if it'd be Limsa or Gridania, but, uh, most important first, we, uh, we, we have some, um, you know, some, uh, things to discuss at the, uh, the Golden Saucer.
Okay. Uh, it's 11. That's not great. Um... Oh, it's better than 11. Okay. Oh. 21's pretty good. Should be 21. Yeah. Uh, okay. Ten. Oh well, no, let's not do that. That's eighty. That's that's not. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not great. Um, okay. Even if one of these is one and four, or like the numbers one and four, that gives me eight. That's not amazing. Um, let's try it. Yeah. Oh well. You're probably gonna fail that regardless. Um. So. I have more dollars than cents. Let's teleport to Gridania and see if I can't um, learn to paint there. Um, or if uh, I need to go to um, uh, Limpsa. Uh, Fear of Odin and the Shroud. No, so you want to be a carpenter? Not particularly. Um, no, that doesn't show me... Uh, there's quests there. Okay, well. Alright. I swear I'll get used to uh to the buttons here at some point. Um okay. Okay, a slither worker. Um a matter of fact. Okay. Botanist. Oh, for you. Okay. Joy of Pictomancy. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I swear I haven't looked this up. Okay. It's unfortunate. You can't really use Slither to, uh, to hop around. Okay. Shepherd to the Stars. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a pretty neat title. Okay. Cheerless Hearer. Okay. Matron, help me. One more complaint this day, and I swear. Ahem. Forgive me my rambling. Uh, but please, tell me you haven't come to make a complaint. I haven't. Something wrong? Uh, well, I should warn you that a Moogle has been making a nuisance of himself here in Gridania. Uh, the Palmed Pest has been harassing adventurers in an attempt to rope them into some painting endeavor. Despite the lack of interest, he refuses to give up. Uh, you're an adventuring sort, are you not? Uh, if so, uh, you'd be wise to give that Moogle a wide berth, unless you are the artistic adventuring sort. Uh, I suspect he's still loitering in the Etherite Plaza and... Oh, if my tail has piqued your interest. Okay. Yeah. Let's go learn to draw, chat. I promise that, you know, my drawing skills and uh, my, uh, you know, my, uh, my overlay and setup will not improve. Hey. All right. Oh, buddy. You there, Capo. How would you like to do some painting? Not ordinary painting, mind you. Magic painting, uh, where your works come to life. Your imagination's the limit.
Oh, buddy. Oh, Koopo Nuts. Why won't anyone give me a chance? They could uh, do so much good with the power of Pictomancy. I might be interested in learning about Pictomancy. Well, what did you say? You're not pulling my palm, are you? You wish to know more about Pictomancy? Truly? Uh, yeah, actually I am. Hooray, hooray. The name is Kupopo, and I'm extremely pleased to meet you, Kupo. I am the in the in oh inheritor. I thought he was I thought he was gonna say invent uh I thought he said inventor. Uh the inheritor of Pictomancy's soul crystal, and I seek a creative individual who can carry on this arcane artistry. Uh history lesson is in order. Ahem. Pictomancy was Conceived some 1,500 years ago in the dusk of the 5th Astral Era. Uh, other schools of magic that originated during the period, such as black and white, are expressed are expressions of the caster's will. Pictomancy relies on something even more abstract. The imagination! Oh, God. Does that mean, like, does that mean that technically in Final Fantasy fourteen terms, orcs are Pictomancers? Like, uh, Warhammer 40k orcs or Pictomancers because they use their imagination to make all their stuff work. <laughs> uh, by channeling ether into a concept held in their mind's eye, a Pictomancer can give form to the formless. Okay. What about me who's horrible at drawing? It's a bit tricky to wrap your head around, I know. And that's precisely why the great Archon Realm, founder of Pictomancy Incorporated, uh, the painter's tools into our art. Oh, okay. A gifted artist, oh, as well as mage, Realm took up a brush instead of a staff and wielded ether like paint to give shape to her imaginations. Aww. Uh, and this way was Pictomancy born, a magic discipline unlike any other. Now, Realm was a charitable soul and never, ever used her power for self-serving ends. She dedicated her life to aiding and defending those in need. Uh, during the War of the Magi, uh, Realm traveled the land and saved countless people with her pictomancy, and it was uh, for those deeds that she earned a place among the Twelve Archons. Oh, okay. So, how about it? Would you like to take up uh, the Archon's noble legacy and become, dare I say it, a Realm? Anymore. Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Wonderful, Koopo. Your enthusiasm warms the heart. Aww. As I have only one soul crystal, however, I must ensure that I entrust it to the right person. Therefore, before I grant you this dazzling opportunity, I require that you attend a, wait, a job interview. Seek me out at Carline Canopy and be sure to come prepared with your fanciest pic pictomancy-esque answers for my flurry of very professional questions. I didn't come I didn't come for this to get a job interview. If I wanted to do that, I'd get a real job. Like <laughs> Okay, well, let's go have my job interview, I guess. Ugh. There you are. I would, uh, I would have invited you into my cozy little hovel and put out tea and biscuits, except I don't have a cozy little hovel or any home to speak of. For that matter, such is the life of an itinerant Moogle, I suppose. I think that's the right word. Uh, I haven't a guild to my name either, so I can't order us tea and biscuits, but we can avail ourselves of a table. Okay. I see where this is going. I think he also has a bridge to sell me. 
And by the power invested in me, I pronounce this interview commence. Let's begin with the basics. May I have your full name? Define name, well met. Okay. Uh, right on, next question. What do you consider your primary vocation? <laughs> Between jobs at the moment. <laughs> ah. Commander of the week and champion of the realm. Ooh, to declare it with such pride, you must be a motivation to help others. In oh, you must be motivated to help others indeed. You've the ideal temperament for a pictomancer, Kupo. And moving along to the next question, how would you rate your artistic abilities? Uh, my stick figure drawings are second to none. Well, I for one think stick figures are wonderful. And as is your honest answer, uh, you'll be pleased to know that pictomancy relies uh, more on one's imagination than their artistic abilities. Oh, uh, so don't fret about your egregious lack of the latter. Hey, wait a minute. Um, speaking of imagination, let's try and put yours to work. Tell me, uh, what's the first thing that enters your mind when you hear the word Moogle? <laughs> Furry little fights. <laughs> okay. Irrepressible cuteness. Plan to agree. Uh, star bearing hairs and carefree catfish weep at the sight of us burnt, uh, burdened by the knowledge that they will never surpass the fuzziest and most charming of beasts. <laughs> now, the next question is very important. Someone's in trouble. What do you do? Um, ask for the reward to see if it's worth it. 100%. Uh, speaking of the first gauge of the problem. Need a prudent approach. If I may ask a follow-up question, can you share a recent example of when you approached a soul in distress? Come again? A hearer who's been inundated with complaints about my picked up fancy pitches? <laughs> oh dear, that's rather disheartening, Kupo. But, but this isn't about me. What's important is that you are not want to ignore the plight of others. Uh, the willingness to serve a greater purpose and emulate Archon Realm's example is uh, the key to becoming a truly talented Pictomancer. Having considered your ans answers, I reckon that you uh, you have what it takes to become a capable Pictomancer. I'm so relieved I found you, Kupo. Uh-huh. I deem you worthy of the Soul Crystal. However, I should warn you that it comes with some proverbial strings attached. A bit of emotional baggage, too. Uh, you see, several moons ago, I got into a terrible argument with my best friend. We went our separate ways, and I've not seen her since. I wish I could meet her again to tr uh, try to reconcile more than anything. So if we hear aught of her during our journey together, I'd like you to lend me a helping hand. Am I playing Moogle Matchmaker now? Uh, if you're still willing to train as a Pictomancer with this condition, then Soul Crystal is war yours. What do you say? Sounds good to me. I don't, I don't need extra room in my uh, my inventory in my uh, uh, in my uh, armory chest. Um, wish to be a Pictomancer in full acceptance of my condition. Sounds good. Then, as promised, bestow upon you the Soul Crystal, and to help you get started, I've prepared a set of equipment. Hopefully it helps. Okay. Pictomancer unlocked. Oh yeah, right, I have two slots remaining in my inventory. Oops. Um... Okay. Hey, let's go! It fits! <laughs> uh, this has two slots in it. Did the other one have two slots? No! Huh. Oh, no, no, no.
Oh yeah, right. I have. Uh... Yeah, that was the other reason that I was like, oh wait, I can. Uh... Okay. Oh, ooh, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, um, hmm. <laughs> Canvases and palettes. Pictomancer issues the stave for the brush, painting their imagination upon a canvas and bringing them to life in the form of magic. Pardon me. By utilizing the creature canvases, the weapon canvases, oh, canvas, I guess, um, and the landscape canvas, a variety of effects can be produced. Uh oh. Uh, creature motifs are painted on the creature canvas and can be rendered to life with the living, oh, through living muse, simultaneously granting a depiction of the rendered motif, assembling a uh, depiction of palm and depiction of wings creates a Mughal portrait, allowing execution of Mughal of the Ages. Weapon motifs are painted on... The weapon, oh, wef, weapon motifs are painted on the weapon canvas and can be rendered to life through steel muse. Uh, when a hammer is painted on the canvas, striking muse can be performed, allowing execution of hammer stamp. Okay. Landscape motifs are painted on the landscape canvas uh, and can be rendered through to life through scenic muse. When a starry sky is painted on the canvas, starry muse can be performed increasing damage dealt by self and party members. Palette gauge. Okay. Uh, the palette gauge and white paint can be accumulated by uh, executing certain aether hue spells. That That's, that's a word. Um, uh, once your palette is sufficiently saturated with aether, you can consume a portion of the palette gauge to execute subtractive palette, which will temporarily alter the properties of your aether hue spell, significantly enhancing them. In addition, white paint can be spent to execute holy in white. Uh, you can view the job gauge and description. Hey, um, okay. So first off again, um, Auto attack, you go away, you go away, um. Okay, um, okay, I want to go back out here. Um, sprint goes over here. Another break goes there, um. Not be executed while under the effect of monochrome tones. Huh. Okay, um... Mudge. Okay, lucid dreaming goes over here. Sleep. Um, I don't actually think is super useful. Addle is useful. I'll put that over here. Um, swift cast is useful. Um, see you guys. Sure cast I'll have to keep over here as well. Living, whatever. Um, lucid dreaming. Um, sure cast. I want Addle there. And I'll go swift cast here. Here, I think, is where I put it. Uh, smudge I want on the other bar. Um, vomit in black. Okay, so there's holy in white, and then there is also a thing for, like, comet in black. Okay. Um, I think that's where I put that, or there, I don't remember. I'll check on one of my other, uh... Okay, um... Okay, what's this? Paints a palm, no. Um... Uh, tempura... Tempura coat. 
Rates of barrier around self-absorbing damage, uh, totaling 20% of maximum HP, 10 seconds. Reduce the recast timer of Tempura Coat by 60 seconds when a barrier is completely absorbed. Okay. Interesting. Um... And the effect of subtractive palette, fire and red two. Okay. Where is the depiction of a creature to life? This action changes to palm muse or winged muse based on your current motif to charges. Um, okay. Um Okay, that's single target. This is AoE. Um, that's complicated. Lizard and Cyan. Only be executed while under the effects of Subtractive Pallet. Cannot be executed under the effect of Subtractive Pallet. Okay. Um... Huh. Smudge, Living Muse, okay. Um. There's a pallet gauge cost. Uh, okay, why aren't you on anything? Oh, you were. Okay. Um... Huh. Okay, I might just have to do the, like, the job thing there to, to try and get an idea for, uh, a layout. Okay. Um... Pallet gauge. I want, like, right there. Um, okay, I think that's where, oh, um, yeah, okay. I think that's where that goes. Uh, maybe. Um, mind over manner. Popo believes an apology is in order. Uh oh. Very nice. Now you literally embody the soul of a Pictomancer, Popo. Uh, while a Pictomancer's brush may look like a big paintbrush, it is in fact a stylized variety of staff. That said, you're probably wondering why we don't uh, just use staves. Uh, simply put, it's much easier to bring your imagination to life through the medium of art. Magic brushes and ink allow a Pictomancer to express abstract thoughts in a deliberate manner, Coupeau. Okay. As I mentioned, though, it's ultimately your imagination that matters most. Uh, for the wisdom of Pictomancer's past... It... Oh, for with the wisdom of Pictomancer's past at your disposal, you already possess the artistic skills you require. I doubt that. Um, now, as much as I would... Uh, love for you to get painting right away. There is something else we must do first. Uh, we must go to uh, Novico's altar and apologize to the hero you mentioned. And by we, I mean off we go. I mean me. Off we go, Kupo. Okay. I mean, at least he's apologizing. Or at least they are. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Oh, for the love of the elementals, no more complaining. 
Uh, I beg your pardon, adventurer. That movie there. Is that perhaps? Indeed, I'm the one who caused so much trouble. It wasn't my intention to do so, and I've uh, come to beg forgiveness, Kupo. Oh, I see. As you appear to be genuinely remorseful, all I ask is that you refrain from aggressive solicitations henceforth. Agreed? You have my word, Kupo. Uh, now that I've found a capable pictomancer, my soliciting days are over. To hear, I'm relieved to hear that. Uh, with this matter settled, I may turn my attention to other... Uh, another situation. Oh, and what, what might that be? Distressing noises coming from the empty uh, from an empty manor in the gentry's ward. Uh, fiends are believed to be haunting the cellar, and their uh, nightly clamor is keeping the surrounding residents awake. Oh. Yeah, both the, the starting armor sets for these jobs look really nice, too. Fiends, you say, Zephyr will deal with them. Wait, <laughs> hang on. I'm being drafted. Uh, remember, it is in the spirit of a Pixomancer to lend a helping hand to shine the light of hope for those in need. Uh, this is also a welcome opportunity for you to put your newfound skills to the test. Uh, rest assured, I'll be there to offer uh, sage advice every uh, wing flap of the way. Okay, I mean, I'm kind of hoping you teach me how to do this job, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to pedal this bike very far. Uh, your offer of aid is kind indeed, and I accept uh, I accept it with thanks. The Gentry's Ward, it's situated just past Apuku Falls. Now proceed when you're ready, okay? So it's in the city, okay. Ready to go, let's go. Okay, uh, okay, let's, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna go, sl yeah. Well, before I worry about slaying monsters, I figure out how to turn my camera properly, eh? That is really cute. I uh, I do really like the way Smudge uh, Smudge works. Not be executed while bound. That's fair. Yeah, the the, the quick little paint dash is really cute. I'm ready to paint up a storm. I am 60 item levels too low, but yeah. <laughs> Sense monsters lurking below. Okay. Uh, before we charge in, allow me to expound on the fundamentals of Pictomancy, please. Uh, you must first paint a motif on canvas. Only then can you bring it to life. Okay. Uh, try making a paw motif. Go on, don't be shy. Okay, what do you want me to do? Okay. Now unleash it upon your foes. Focus uh, your magics that's, uh, on that striking dummy and summon the palm muse. Okay. Palms away. Splendid work. Okay. Okay, wait, why does my thing still have a palm on it? Next, give your best wing motif. Uh, where's that? Okay, very good. Uh, now you may invoke your wing be oh, winged muse against our friend the striking dummy. Okay. Uh, with 
uh, palms and wings fresh in mind. I want you to imagine these, uh, what these muse could accomplish together, okay? By fusing them, uh, to give life to a fantastic Moogle. Uh, think big. Uh, magnificent, th oh, magnificent thoughts and envision, okay. Progress, recast. So, cast palm and... Oh, was that... Wait. Is that what I was... Oh. Okay. Excellent. Uh, it may not be in some... Oh. As... Oh, winsome. Okay. Aside from your moogles, uh, a hammer stamp is an excellent alternative to punishing your foes. Uh, if you wish to provide support, I recommend aspiring your allies with a starry muse. Okay. Uh, never stop dreaming up motifs. Okay, I need to do that. Um, okay, so this is an AoE. Um, only be executed while Moogle Portrait is active. Okay. Um, cannot be assigned. Arrow in the green. Fire red changes to arrow in the green when requirements are met. Okay. Water in the blue. Grants white paint. Arrow in the green changes to water in the blue. Um, okay. Wait, I have wing motif on here, though. Cannot be assigned to a hotbar. Action changes to Palm Muse or Winged Muse. Thunder in the Magenta. Granting three stacks of Hammer Time. Um, can only be executed while in combat. And while a hammer is painted on the hammer canvas. Um, okay, so... Okay, so I want this over here, because this is technically like a buff. Okay, so Steel Muse is on a cool a one minute cooldown, okay. Um can only be executed while under the effects of hammer time, okay. I'm gonna put Scenic Muse over here, because it's like you know, basically the uh the buff. Um Subtractive palette. Okay. Um.
Okay, so hold on. So if I go fire in the red, then it goes to arrow in green. Then it goes to water in blue. Okay, what does ether hues 2 do to me? Okay, I got two blue dots. I don't know what those do. Oh, okay, so I can use these to cast holy. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense now. And then if I go... I need to be like oh, okay um yeah what's the range on hammer time here five yards okay unexpected damage as a di critically oh critical direct hit with potency of to the first enemy and 60 percent less for all remaining enemies oh this is an wait this is an automatic crit uh are, are is this that okay? Um, um I, s I usually keep all my like AoEs and stuff together, but it doesn't seem like that's how this job works. Um Hmm. Okay, yeah, Mogul for the Ages is also an AoE, right? Yeah, okay. Um, hmm. Sure. Uh, the infestation is worse than I expected. We should clear out these ones first. Uh, let's make a lesson of it, Kabo. By casting spells of different hues, your palette will begin to storing ether. Okay, I probably should have uh, also just like moved on the dialogue here. Uh, with sufficient, with a sufficiently saturated palette, you may avail yourself of the subtractive palette's increased might. Uh, palette gauge fills when performing the single target combo started. Oh, starting with fire in red. Area of effect combo starting with fire 2 in red also fill palette gauge. When it reaches 50, you can use subtractive palette. And while subtractive palette is active, you'll be able to cast stronger aether hue spells. Okay, so th those two spells are um, actually like stronger spells. Oh, apparently I killed you all. Okay. Marry you. Okay, so that's how that works. Scared off the stragglers. Let's head in further. Ooh. Well, that looks dangerous. Hey, buddy. You're getting pretty close to whatever that is. Um, 
Wait, what is that? It's a weird hopping geode. Oh, it's a, um, okay. Ah, no, that's an obnoxious, obnoxious noisemaker, but... See, grass the base stick of pictomancy. I'll leave, I'll leave you to your pictomancy to show, oh, show that spriggan what for. I think I get the gist of it. exactly sure when you're supposed to try and weave in um like the moogle spells um that like living cue whatever thing um that's what's weird to me oh that's the it's music from final fantasy 6 well done, Zephyr. I knew you'd make an excellent pictomancer from the first. This is neat. Yeah, I think I can get I think I get the hang of this. I have the soul crystal to thank for that. Such a show of skill, yet yet you remain so humble. I tip my palm to you, Kupo. In any case, uh with those glamorous fiends gone for good, the residents can rest easy once more. But come, let's quit this place. The dampness doesn't agree with my fur. Mm -hmm. I kind of like this job, I won't lie. Um... Okay. Uh, allow me to congratulate you on, on a successful first outing, Zephyra. By, oh, the Pictomancers of Eld would be proud. Uh, though you may yet be a novice of the art, uh, as a veteran adventurer, you've grasped the fundamentals quickly. Uh, as well you should, Kupo. Archon Realm didn't uh, urge her disciples to roam uh, the star for their own amusement, you know. Uh, she wished for them uh, to intimately understand the wider world, to journey to lands unknown and savor every discovery, to revel in sensations, emotions, and yes, even danger. Uh, for these experiences enrich the palate of the imagination, uh, making one's pictomancy all the more vibrant. You are returned.
began to worry and came to see uh, whether all was well. Uh, dare I hope you've dealt with those fiends. Mm hmm. There's a very large spriggan in the basement. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, with this, all outstanding matters of concern have been addressed. And, oh, and like the residents of the Gentry Ward, I may too sleep soundly once more. Uh, you both have my heartfelt gratitude. May the matron keep you wherever so you should go. Oh, okay, that was the problem. He's They've been keeping him up at night so he can't sleep. That makes sense. Do you see how happy we made him? That's the power of Pictomancy for you. I hate to tell you this, I probably could have just done that as a red mage. Aside from the bits where you told me to cast Pictomancy spells. Um... This is only the beginning. As part of your training, you and I shall travel near and far, searching for those in need, just as Archon Realm once did. Sounds good, buddy. Uh, but you mustn't forget our promise, either. Before we take to the road, I'd like to see if uh, the locals know anything about my friend. In the meantime, I bid you dedicate yourself to honing your skills, Kupo. 